Okay, are you ready, kids? Hello and welcome. This tutorial is produced by PhotoshopIsland.com, your source for fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layer designs. Welcome to this basic demo of the 101 postage stamp themed Photoshop brushes from Photoshop Island. What you see on screen here is going to be the end results of the tutorial that you're about to see. So let's jump in. Okay, are you ready to have some fun? This is a basic demo showing how to take advantage of the 101 postage stamp themed brushes from Photoshop Island. Well, one of the first things I want to do is I want to work with my uh, layers here so that we can have a little flexibility. So I'm going to bring up the uh, layers menu here. I'm going to tear it off my panel so we can see a little bit better. And uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to change this from a background layer. So I'm just going to double click on it. Uh, we'll just change the name to image. Uh, not necessary, but you can just let it have the default name. So here we are with our basic image. And then I, I need a little space around this image to uh, give me a little area to work with as far as creating the full design. So I'm going to um, increase my canvas size. And what the way to do that is you go to Image, Canvas Size. And right now our canvas is 5 by 7.5. And uh, I'm going to end up with a I, I'm going to end up with a square postage stamp, so I want a little space around that. So, just for uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, 10 by 12 and a half, and give us some nice working space. And I'm going to leave the anchor to the center, so that'll center my image now that I've uh, got it in there. So here we are. We've got our image set on a background, and we just have one layer right now. And now I'm going to need my brushes, my uh, postage stamp theme brushes. So how do I go about that? So I want to select my brush tool and I'm going to go to my uh, brush presets here. And I'm going to select this, uh, this little um, arrow here and it brings up the menu for the brushes. I want to load brushes. And I have my brushes stored in my... Uh, Photoshop uh, presets. So I'm going to go over here and browse to those brushes. And I want to, there's a couple of sets of brushes uh, that I want to use for this demonstration. I'm going to use the Holiday Cancellation Brush Set. And there's 24 of those. And I'm also going to uh, load the 30 brush uh, shapes, which is right here, Stamp uh, Shapes 30 Brushes. And I just use the command key uh, or control key on the PC to select those two brushes to load. I'm going to click on the load button. And if you look over here in your uh, palette, you can see that starting right here, those new brushes have loaded. And so they we now have access to those. Uh, if you hover over the brushes in here, you can see the different uh, names of the brushes. And I want to pick a um, modern uh, edge stamp. I think I'm going to pick this modern edge small frame right here. You just click on that. That brush now becomes available over here in our um, working window. And I'm going to create a new layer. I, I want to do this on a new layer so I have some flexibility. I'm going to change my colors down here to white instead of black. And I'm just going to just click down once and stamp a stamp on there. Now you can see that I, um, I have uh, a little bit of extra picture that I can squeeze in there. So I'm going to transform my image a little bit and just shrink it down just a little bit. Bring it right to the edges of my stamp border. And I can adjust it up or down a little bit too if I like. So now I've got... Got my, my stamp in there uh, to a kind of a size, or my I should say my image within my stamp. And now uh, we don't want this extra part of the photo hanging out. So you want to get your uh, selection tool. And you just select just a little bit outside of the frame of the postage stamp. 
and get an area. Make sure you have your image selected. And then you want to add a layer mask to the image. And presto, we have that trimmed out nice and clean. So now we have two layers. We have the postage stamp layer shape and we have the image layer. Now I'm going to add a quick background to our image. So I'm going to add another layer. I want this layer to be down at the bottom. And I'm going to go over to my color picker, uh, the foreground uh, color. I'm going, to, I'm going to pick a kind of a light yellow. And uh, then for the background, I'm going to pick a, a little bit darker orange color. This is a summer photo, so I want, I want a little warmth to it. And then I want to go up here and go to Filters, Render, Clouds, which is right here. And bam, we have a great summery warm background on our image. Now, we're almost done, if you can imagine that. I want to, um, I want to add a postage stamp cancellation. So I'm going to go back to my brush tool. I'm going to go back up here to my brushes. Now this is uh, uh, already in here. We loaded this before. I'm going to go back and I there is a cancellation for the 4th of July. So I'm going to hover over these uh, until I find the 4th of July brush. Some of these brushes you can identify based on the little graphics that are in them. But there's our 4th of July cancellation. I now have that. And um, I'm going to create a new layer. I want this layer to be on top. And I'm going to uh, put my colors back to default by clicking here in the little uh, palette uh, reset. And I'm just going to click. I'm going to kind of click anywhere in here uh, because I'm on a separate layer, so I have some flexibility here. I'm just going to click down. And I've got a cancellation on there. That doesn't look exactly like I want, but... Um, I like the effect uh, for these cancellations of maybe something like an overlay, give it a little bit of a soft look. And um, now it, I don't really want my cancellation overlaying the face of, of my boy here. So I am going to grab an, a point on that and I'm going to move it down just a little bit. And I think I'm going to transform that just a little bit and shrink it up just a little bit to fit it. Um, a little bit better here. I, I kind of want to keep this 4th of July down here just so you can see this is a, kind of a 4th of July picture. So we've got a nice little cancellation there. Um, it's, it's set up with an overlay. You, you can do some other things too. Uh, you, you might experiment with some of these other uh, layer um, overlay options and uh, see what you can get. Uh, one of the other effects is just to do normal but knock the opacity down to about 80% or or maybe even 60% depending on what you're after. And, and that looks pretty good too. I, I pers My personal preference is this overlay look. So you can kind of play with that a little bit. Now just one other final little treatment to kind of finish this off is I want to add a layer effect. I'm just going to add the default to keep this simple. Just going to add a drop shadow, and I'm leaving the default settings here. I'm not changing anything. I'm just going to leave that alone. And you can see that it's given a nice edge to our stamp so that it looks a little bit three-dimensional. And if you zoom in, you can also see that that shadow has dropped into the inside frame of the image area as well, which um, I think adds a nice touch as well. So there you have a very quick, simple use for the uh, 101 postage stamp uh, themes. Don't forget to check out PhotoshopIsland.com for a bonanza of fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layered designs.